Hi, I'm Dee. Today's Overcoming Multiple Sclerosis friendly recipe is super quick and easy spinach and lentil curry. It is dairy free, completely vegan and very low in saturated fats. Here's what we need. We've got a large onion, our garlic and ginger. We've got garam masala, turmeric and curry powder. You can have mild curry powder, medium or hot, whatever suits you best. We've got tomato puree, um, two tins of green lentils. We've also got some spinach. I just keep mine in the freezer. Um, I just take a couple of handfuls and then put it back in the freezer again. Uh, optional extras are some soy yogurt, cucumber and coriander. Uh, first in the pan goes our really chopped, finely chopped onion and garlic. With some boiling water. And get that cooking. And then I'm just going to grate in my um, frozen ginger. This is a great start to any recipe because onions, garlic and ginger are all really good anti-inflammatory foods um, and MS is an inflammatory disease so if we can keep that inflammation down that's a really good thing. So the onions have been cooking about five minutes-ish. Um, they're nice and soft now so I'm going to add in two to three tablespoons of tomato puree. A good heat dessert spoon of garam masala, like that. Same with turmeric. Turmeric is another really good anti-inflammatory food, so I think any recipe we can sneak this into where it'll work, the better. Um, and the curry powder, again, about a dessert spoon. What we'll do is we'll taste it at the end and just check it, and if we need to add any more, we can. Even at the end, it's, it's all fine. Um, to be honest, you could just you could just add the curry powder and that would be fine if you haven't got the garam masala or turmeric. I'm just going to stir all those together. Then I'm going to add the lentils. Um, I'm not going to strain them, just put the whole thing in. A really good handfuls of the um, frozen spinach or fresh spinach if you've got it. Okay. So if you're in a real rush, you could just eat this as soon as it's warm enough. Um, I'm just going to leave it simmering for as long as it takes my rice to cook. Um, and then if it looks like it's going to dry out, I'll just add some more water. Um, but there you go, that's that recipe done. And here is our vegan, very low in saturated fats, spinach and lentil curry. I've just added some chopped up cucumber mixed with yogurt and some coriander. Thank you very much for watching.